Welcome to the fifth ever Complex Con, fourth in Long Beach. Now there's a lot of new activations and new improvements. For starters, Complex has their own booth. That's right, this booth will help promote all the original shows that we currently have, like Sneaker Shopping, Full Size Run, Everyday Struggle, Hot Ones. Look at Sean Evans over here. Now fans can actually come by and, and take photos, and at different times of today, you can actually meet some of the cast. Other than that, I'm gonna show you guys something cool. Check this out. This is something new that we've been developing. Fans can come by and uh, actually participate in picking the best rappers. Tap to select. Now you have the matchup. We're going with Biggie. Biggie advances to the next round. Tap to select. We got two chains against Jada Kiss. I gotta go with Jada. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right, I'm here with Luke Tadashi, creative director of Bristol Studios. Now I understand you guys have a partnership with Hennessy. You guys crafted three exquisite pieces that are inspired by several ambassadors of Hennessy. Maybe you can walk me through some of the, the items? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think let's start okay. maybe right here. Going order. So this is a belt that we made for Canelo Alvarez. We wanted to create like an oversized belt buckle to kind of like reference boxing heritage but at the same time not make something so big that it's not wearable. So uh, that was kind of what we did with that. It's plated in, uh, in gold and we have a custom made leather belt as well with the Hennessy H pattern throughout. And that was laser engraved on, all made here in Los Angeles. Now, are these limited? Uh, I believe so, yeah. I think there was about 60 belts made uh, in total. And they'll be, I think you can enter here to win. And, yeah. Uh, afterwards, if you're one of the winners, you'll be sent to belt. By the way, shout out to Canelo because he's fighting tonight in oh, Vegas crazy. against Kovalev. So, best of luck to my man. This was a chair kind of to pay homage to Ferg's most recent album, Floor Seats. So we directly took the frame from like a stadium chair that you would see on the floor of a basketball game. Um, which also kind of ties into our brand story, just being a basketball lifestyle brand. Uh, we reupholstered the chair in genuine leather. Uh, that's like an aniline hide metallic leather dye. It's really cool. Custom, custom embroideries throughout it. Uh, it's quite an undertaking to get these done, but I think it's well worth it. These uh, sunglasses were made custom for Maluma. He basically had a pair of sunglasses that he absolutely loves. And we were basically just trying to take those, those sunglasses and elevate them a little bit. These were custom built all from the ground up. Three weeks, it's kind of crazy that, that, that we made it happen. I started Bristol Studio about five years ago, actually, just uh, out of like my college dorm room. Uh, crazy as that is, but basically I, at the time, had just quit playing basketball in college, and that had been my entire life up until that point, so I was kind of trying to figure out a way to still stay close to the game. And so I had this idea of creating this brand around basketball lifestyle, more captured the spirit and the culture of the game versus like just the performance and you know that aspect of it. So all the clothes that we do kind of take uh, inspiration from classic silhouettes that you would find throughout basketball culture, kind of like tracksuits, sweats, hoodies, jerseys, shorts, and we deconstruct them and kind of reimagine them in a new way. So like even these sweatpants that I'm wearing right now, these are fully reversible as an homage to like you know reversible practice jerseys and just the general reversibility of a lot of these garments that you find for basketball. And then also at the same time, like I remember being a kid just playing AAU basketball and all the older kids would wear their stuff inside out after practice. So it kind of also ties that story in with the exposed exterior pockets. As a young brand, it's quite, uh, it's quite, it's quite flattering to be recognized by legacy brands like that. Uh, so in a sense, it makes me feel like we're definitely doing something right. P -p -p Bryce, the height. How are we doing? You know what? Pan up to my forehead. You see that, Tony? Oh, oh! We got some stuff to work on. Oh. This is an incredible moment it's of It's a war zone I'll, up I'll, I'll tell you why. Why? Last, last, last episode of Full Size Run, I made a joke, and I often make jokes on the show about, and I said, come, this is crazy, I said this, I said, come to Complex Con and see how good my skin looks in person. Now pan up again. Holy, wow. So, that's hubris. <laughs> We're working on the situation. We're gonna put some Kiwi cleaner on there. And everything's good. And when I just just do like a filter on me like that, okay? Okay. Yeah. Trinidad James. 
Shout out to Team Ugly. I am a, I wouldn't say a founding member of Team Ugly, but I am pretty high ranked official in the Team Ugly Corporation. Trinidad has a, a booth here. It's called Ugly, Ugly Nail Shop, where you can get your nail painted because that, that's one of uh, Trinidad's staples. Let me show off some of the merch. We got the dad boots. Iconic dad boots. Look at this. What does it say? I got Uzi, I got Cardi, put them on my playlist. I'm killing the lyric. <laughs> Hold on, let me chill out, let me chill out. Scratch that one. <laughs> Yo, it's my man, the stylish stoner, Rex Hogan in the building. Oh, God. Where's he at, by the way? I seen him <laughs> yeah. walking around. You already know, man, Tony D2 Wild checking in once again. Where's my doppelganger at? Yo, man? hold on. 8K visual or are we going back to 4K visual? Oh, my visual? bad, my bad. What are we on, 1080p? <laughs> 1080p visual. The Mark IV, I see you, though. I appreciate that. I like the Mark IV, man. It's doing okay, good. Okay, so you, you out here with Reebok, for yes, sure. Yes, I am. Uh, Sold out, by the way. They're gone now. Are they really? Yeah, they're gone. Ah, Sold out. Damn. So, Alright, well. I got a little bit of cool swag on my feet now. I'm a little bit, my, 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 uh, my apparel just went up a little bit in price. I ain't gonna lie, you got the entire fit, bro. Yeah, I you got know. the entire. See, your dreads are covering it, but like, <sighs> let them know. What date is it? Tell them the date and the it, location. It might be, uh, where was it? November? Oh, my bad, my bad. Was it? Bad. It's November, November 2nd. November 2nd. So BBC has been doing it up big this year. Not only do they have a collaboration with Reebok and uh, the Iris and Fives, they also have a SpongeBob collab. You see the Bear Bricks here. They've got a, a ton of merch. I don't know what the deal with this is, but this, this pulls my attention right towards here. We got crates. Well, it's crazy, but as long as you're around with the camera, I know the visuals are gonna be great. Look, Takashi Murakami offset in the Complex Con gift shop, balling out. It's cool so far, man. We just shot Tunnel Takedown Complex every Wednesday, 5 o'clock. Make sure you catch it. You already know. Uh, but I'm about to see what the rest is about. We did a rehearsal yesterday, and I got to see the walkthrough and everything being built. So as soon as my girl gets out of the bathroom for the third time, we're going to go check out the ground floor and see what it is. So uh, I'm assuming there's going to be other NBA players here. Is it all love when you when you see them? Yeah, I, I mean, I had no problem with nobody. Um, I, got, I, I love everybody. Can you make some phone calls and get like some high-level people to pull up? I don't really know. I, I mean, it's the season, you know what I mean? So guys are not... Uh, have, you, have there been NBA players that are currently playing here before? I mean, I, no. I yeah, think you're, you're right. probably out the league if you yeah, come yeah. here, you know what I mean? I know so, Al Harrington pulled up a yeah. times. But you know, I was, I was post-career now. But yeah, I'm sure you'll see a, a, a bunch of former athletes here. Like, I've always heard about it. i just never had taken the time to come. But I'm um, speaking, you know, I get to see the show. I'm speaking on the NBA panel this evening. So I just want to come check the vibe out for the day. Prime time right next to you. Prime time. Vintage. Vintage. <laughs> 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 What's up with my bro? You good? I lost Tony. What's you up, lost man? him, so you got you stuck with me? Yeah. We at the Hennessy booth. You know, uh, where they holding it down with, with fresh Hennessy. You know, you can get it chilled or straight. I prefer my cognac straight. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't got no ice in my glass, you feel me? But uh, we out here fucking around. Complex Time 2019, Long Beach, California. Uh, my day is done already and I feel good. Talk to me, what do we have today? Today we have the final, last color edition of Elevate, the one that really, literally elevated everything from a year ago. That's a bar. <laughs> okay. And now, you know, 
it's kind of it's a sad but also a happy feeling knowing that you know we can close a chapter in the book of the first sculpture yeah. and for me it's like continuing to build upon this so you know it's more to come and more exciting times but it's you know it's, it's emotional for me to walk the ground floor because we were here a year ago and seeing everything come full circle in that bigger booth more love and support and people really rocking with me and our, my team in the city of Chicago and for us to be here in the presence is just amazing and long, all the way to Long Beach so it's, it's all love. This is cool and all but I know you also have a Spongebob collaboration. Yeah, yeah, you got lucky today because our homie from Josh from Modernica, shout out Modernica fam, uh, brought one of our shares in. Uh oh! Uh oh! So, shameless plug, but this is already out, you can buy this on Modernica.net. This version of Multicolor, two upholstered and, and a couch, you know, the official. Shout out to my, my brother Jose, Spongebob, and collaboration with Jay Balvin. Yep. Shout out to Jose, man. Love him so much. And shout out to Nickelodeon fam. Thank you to Tony for always supporting everything that Sneaker Room does Absolutely. with all of our charity projects. I have to throw it out there. Now you can, now you can do it. I didn't say that. Okay, okay. So as a first timer at Convos Con, as, with a boot. Yes, first time vendor. Yes. How was it for you? It was amazing. I mean, listen, man, you know, you had the, the riff and the wrath going on and whatever, whatever with the, you know, what's culture vultures and all that. But it was cool, man. Listen, we, we sold a lot of shoes. We raised a lot of money for a great cause. You know, we were the one pe person in here doing a give back. Charity is always what Sneaker Room does. And I mean, listen, I mean, Complex, welcome us back next year and we're here. Right here is the first week feast, Lagoon, where we have over 45th and food vendors here feeding the masses. Enough talking, let's go get some grub. Some good collaboration with Blockbuster, officially licensed. Piece of nostalgia for a lot of people here. Saturday we have performances at the PNP stage headlining is Kid Cudi and then tomorrow night you have Anderson Pac closing it out for Long Beach Complex Con thank you guys for watching I'm wrapping it up here got a lot of footage to look through and edit so forgive me if I don't capture everything thank you guys for watching I'm out of here peace